Okay, oh. stop. Wait. No one told me to do it. But yeah. <laughs> That's good. He did the same thing to me, so I told him. No one would do it. <laughs> well, my phone's at 53%. I'll record for you. Oh, yeah, I'll do it. Oh my god, it's exit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my So the leaves are actually bigger than this when they're on the plant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you cure them and they dry up, they shrivel up oh, a lot. Like dead skin. <laughs> My fingers look like sausage. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a thin leather. Yeah. You know, darker tobaccos will be thicker as well. Oh, dun dun dun. Yeah. So we'll basically inspect these and make sure that they're good to use. This stuff comes in like this. And so this stuff is still growing? No, no. It basically, the leaves are picked off of the plant. They hang them up and they turn from green to brown. Then they put them in those piles in the ferments. They dry it up, ship it here. Hector humidifies it. It goes up to the stripping department and gets these stems, and then it gets put onto the cigar machines. What if you like run out of all, like, all this stuff? What if you run out of it? With the tobacco? Oh, yeah. Then we don't, we can't make cigars. But luckily, our friends who we buy tobacco from, the Oliva Tobacco Company, we've been buying tobacco from them for 73 years. That's as long as my boss, Eric Newman, has been alive. The first time we bought tobacco from the Olivas, Eric was in his mom's belly. And that's how we know how long we've been buying tobacco from the Olivas. Um, so they actually give us first pick of the crop. We get the best stuff. And then whatever we don't want, they sell to all the other cigar companies. So they get second, third, fourth, fifth. Yep. So that's what you can make money. So like all of these boxes and stuff are filled with this stuff? Those bales are actually short filler tobacco, like the stuff that he was dumping in the hopper in front of the machine. Whereas the wrapper tobacco comes in the hand like that. It's kind of cold. There's actually another guy down here. No, there's a lot of ghosts down here, so it takes somebody who's very mentally strong to work in the basement in rain boots, wetting tobacco day in and day out. Yeah. Um, so, Angel, the guy. Oh well, nothing like that's happened here. Um, yeah. <laughs> they will just move the cigars around and hide our walkie-talkies, and then the, the hygrometers and thermostats that are on the wall basically are on the floor. All this stuff right here is all BBNL. So this stuff is boxes, bands, and labels. One of the oldest brands that was manufactured in Tampa was Cuesta Ray. Cuesta Ray was started in 1884 by Angel La Madrid Cuesta and Peregrino Ray. Can we keep they had, them? No. We had factories in Cuba and they also had factories in Atlanta. And then they opened a factory in West Tampa when Tampa cigar making got really big. Um, this is Sally right here. And uh, this label's been the same since 1884, basically. Um, in 1958, we purchased this brand from the Cuesta family because all of Carl Cuesta's daughters didn't want anything to do with the cigar business. So I was like, do you guys have like still like dollar bills from like back then? 
maybe, maybe. I don't know. But this is basically the vista from the box. So when you open the lid, this is the main thing that catches the customer's eye. This, these are very vintage and one of a kind, and I will give you each one of them as a parting gift. Oh, cool. oh, I'm this one. Thank you. You're welcome. These have been down here for over 50 years. 50? Wow. Yeah. They're still in really good condition. What did you do? Well, this is like the oldest thing I ever seen. I'm not ready anymore. Would you take, like to take one for your office? This could be a good Pokemon card. No, hey, so that's cooler than any Pokemon card. Um, How dare you? It's unless, the it's, unless it's like the ancient Mew card. Okay? I have the ancient Mew. Me too. My mom has one from like 150 years ago. If you sell these, how much would it go for? No, I do not. Sorry, if you sell these, how much would it go for? I don't think they have any value. Um, they just have a lot of historical value. Historical value, not one of them. What is one? Oh, isn't it? Yeah, right. What is the thing? Oh, where's the building? Okay, let's go. Oh, no. Does it have ghosts? Nobody fall down the road. There's a little girl that comes out of the room. Hello. Basically, back in the day, if water would go over the basement, it would drain into this well. And basically, the pump would come from overflowing water on the side. So, so why it don't work no more? Well, water never overflows down here anymore. The drainage is better than the pump. Oh my god! So back in the day, water was like a big deal. And that's why it was a pump that would run away from the water.
We live around here, literally, like five minutes away. Or ten minutes, something. To be honest. What's that place? Is this like connected? It's connected to here. What is that place? I like that. Oh? You said drop the people. Imagine Michael drops his body. Imagine he drops his picture. No boss. Michael just drops his body. What are all these like types of things? Holy shit, bro. You would live from this fall. But this would be a good Imagine falling off. Falling on the wall and down bragging. Yeah, jump right here. Jump right here. I feel like one of y'all is gonna push me, bro. I'm saying, we can't. I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, I feel like one of y'all is gonna push me. The only way for you to fall over here is if we pick you up. Oh, my, my paper was almost off. Hard on. I'm holding onto my phone tightly. Oh, you go in there? Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Dang, they gotta walk all the way up into the game. They're just now going to have the camera. They're going to try faster or slower. Like I said, this right here is connected to the head of the tower. So you pull this. That's our main target. Wait, wait, wait. Drop it. Yeah, Wait, what if you do that when they're in the roof? You got to pull the tobacco. Let's see what else. So the jack shaft there goes through fake columns on the second and third floor before zigging across the third floor and going up into the tower. So back in 2002, we took out these giant water tanks that were up there holding water from 1910. And then we took the clock mechanism out of the tower, uh, remanufactured it, refurbished it, reassembled it here, situated the shaft, the pendulum swings in the basement, and uh, that's one of the last original clock faces from 1910. Wow. Yeah. So, follow me into the museum here. Sir, sir, sir. Stop flicking my neck. So after tobacco is grown, obviously it's green in the field and beautiful, and they hang it up like this, which actually cures it. This it is the like curing that. process. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I think this is about what is it all just about? Have to cool. pull it off. So this is basically when the tobacco turns from green to brown and it hangs up and burns. Have you ever seen it happen? Yeah. So it happens from six to eight weeks. So you look at it every week and see like... Every day, there's a whole team monitoring the tobacco. They're opening and closing the windows in the barn, maintaining the optimal climate for the design effect. Yeah. So this is Julius Caesar Newman, our company founder. When he and his family came here from Austria, Hungary, he didn't have a middle name. He was just Julius Neumann. Watching them. <laughs> camera on the camera. Uh, that is so scary. Playing Fortnite. Yeah. So much stuff in this room. But there is tobacco. Goes from green to brown. Not really. No, really Is that another thing? Yeah. 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 Yes, these are all real cigars from 100 plus years ago. Thank you. Mr. Ray is all over here, so. That's 
We basically explored all of it. I know it's you, Zach. I'm not a Huh? I know it's you. I'm not a No. No, you don't. Dang, 75 degrees in there. Oh, stop sweating. I can break the sweat. On the roof? That's no, the height down there. Smells no, like all tobacco. That would be the, uh, the Not even your air pressure for this place. That would be the, uh, this, is for, this is for Mac 1247. Yeah. Did you sell this for a hundred bucks? Let me see it again. I keep scared. No, it's not. Nineteen ninety eight. Oh, rich, bro. Where's nineteen eighty seven? And it says premium quality. So basically, it goes so for to hundred bucks, if not more, I don't know. So ninety nine plus. And now his sons Bobby and Eric Newman um, run it, and they're around here somewhere today. Um, and Eric's son Drew, yeah, they come to work every day. Some footage of them working. Seventy and like seventy one and seventy four. This is wow. people that are actually working today. Oh, that's crazy. Yo, look how fast they move. Yeah, so it kind of looks like they're out of rhythm. I think we should say uh, Nicaragua. So this is live feed of them making cigars by hand or a little help with the machine. Wait, what room is this? No, 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 this is in another country, Nicaragua. Down in this is in a country? Mm -hmm. It's not even in another state. That's yeah. like a whole country. It's a nice one, nature trip. <laughs> like he chipped on that tree stump. Shut up, bro. We don't talk about that. <laughs> like how we don't talk about Bruno. Alright, shut up. Oh my. Who is going to be involved, bro? <laughs> Who's going to sell it on? Well, actually, like, I basically spent $1.2 million back in 1958. Because in, in Yeah, this okay. is the first floor then. Why don't they consider it the basement the first floor? So how do they sell the cigar stuff? Ground level is one. B is one. So it's like different. You're weird, bro. Stop <laughs> sniffing me. <laughs> Smell like tobacco. Hey, 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 guys. Hey, you guys have any questions? You don't want to Oh, that's what they all spend it. Now they're good. Okay. Hey, you're staying. Thanks for. Michael. 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 Michael.